Oh my gosh, are you okay? Hello? Are you okay? to escape those walkers. Mm. You know those things that are eating people? Yeah. <laughs> Just thought I'd clean you off a little bit. Um, you weren't bit, were you? Okay. Not that you know. Well, um, I'm just gonna look you over, alright? Yeah. I had Lewis carry you in, and Ruby kind of looked you over a little bit, but, um, they wanted me to clean you up and check you out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of the one that everybody listens to around here. We all work together, but... They kind of put me in charge. I have my axe. So I'm just going to move that. Um, so, sorry, what was your name? Okay. Alright, well, it's nice to meet you. I'm Clementine. Yeah. Some people call me Clem. It's whatever you, whatever you prefer. Totally fine with me. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any weapons on you? Just that knife? Okay. Yep. I mean, I just have to ask, you know, for our safety and everything. Mm-hmm. Alright. Okay. You've got a few scrapes. Were you in, like, a fight with anyone? Or did you fall? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, you were you were running from the walkers and we let you in the gate to help you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they took care of them. They took care of them. Septic towels. Yeah. So I'm just gonna open one of these and use it to clean you up, and then I'll help you, you know, get bandaged and everything. So, um, where are you from? Do you remember? You look kind of young, about my age. Okay. So you don't have a group or anything? This may sting a little bit. Yeah, I totally get that. I'm used to being on my own, but since I found this place, uh, things have changed. Yeah. Yeah. And as you can see, I'm a little, you know, can't really go. Can't really uh, get around like I used to. Do you know if you're hurt anywhere else from glancing you over? I just see that your hand is a little... Yeah. 
try to help people when we can, but we, uh, you know, we obviously have to be skeptical about new people, so you're welcome to stay here for the night. Yeah. And maybe, you know, if things go alright, then uh, you can stay a few more nights if you need to, to heal up. Just, it all depends how things go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a I had a rough start here. Don't even want to get me started on that. But um, are you in any like serious pain? Because I do have one aspirin in here. I'm willing to share it. All right, not right now. Okay, totally understand. So. So now that I like wiped your wounds and everything, I'm just gonna put some water in the bag here. And just, you know, clean you up a little bit because you look like you could use it. No offense or anything, we all look like that. Mm hmm. bandage you up. See what I got here. See what I got here. Yep. It's not much, but I found these band-aids. Yeah. I'll put something much bigger, like I'll put something much bigger over, you know, the bigger spots, but... Sorry if you hear everyone outside. We've all got jobs to do, so... Sometimes people like to have fun. <laughs> on your hand, they look, you know, not so bad compared to other things. I've got some of this medical wrap here. Yeah, just tap this dry a little bit. We're a lot of gauze, so I apologize for that, but this will help keep it. things from getting to it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, I'm just wrapping that around your head once. It's self-adhesive, so it should stick. Yeah, it might stick in your hair a little bit. Where did my scissors go? Yeah, so I have my scissors now. I'm just gonna should stick to your hair too, so you should be good. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
now that that's done. So, tell me more about yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my hat. Yeah. I have it here. I took it off since we were inside. Don't really. Don't really need to wear it in here. It's kind of warm today. to remember what it used to be like. Um, just something else to be nice. Uh, we noticed that your clothes are a little torn up. So, um, we wanted to offer you a shirt. school shirts that was like, you know, left here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're at Erickson. Erickson boarding school. For the troubled youth. Look who's still alive though. Yeah, I guess all the teachers like ditched them all here. Just, you know, selfish people. Yet they're the survivors. <laughs> so, uh, I hope this fits. Yeah. Yeah, you can go ahead and change it into it when you we're done here. I think I've got you cleaned up though. No, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not the leader, I guess you could say. I'm not. But, um, yeah, like I mentioned, everyone looks to me for decision making. Uh, I just, uh, I've been making major decisions my whole life, so. was really small when all this stuff started and uh, my parents my parents ended up you know like everybody else yeah no it's okay I'm, I'm, I'm fine yeah I've been on my own for a long time well until AJ came around speaking of which so AJ left me this he wanted me to share it with you. <laughs> it's Disco Broccoli. Do you remember this show? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I sometimes miss TV, you know? Yeah. But anyways, um... I was with this guy named Lee for a long time. He took care of me. About a year. Yeah. And then like a whole bunch of stuff happened and um, AJ was born, so that's a whole mess. But I ended up taking, taking AJ myself and going off and the two of us have been by ourselves for years. this with you. Uh, you can hang out in my office. I don't, mm, it's weird, my office. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna set them down here next to you. All right, um, yeah, so like I said, you can stay here for the night. We'll see how things go, and, uh, if everything is checking out with you and you're willing to, like, help out around the 
around the grounds and you know, maybe you can stay a few more nights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and we'll share we'll share whatever we can with you. You seem like a decent person, so mm -hmm. Go check on everyone else, make sure, you know, things are getting done. And, um, oh, do you want some water? Yeah, yeah, of course, you can, you can have this totally. Yeah. This, I'll leave this here with you too. You just rest, and I guess uh, you can, if you don't come down in a few hours, I'll come back and check on you. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't have this. Mm -mm. No, I didn't see any. Ruby didn't see any either when she was in here earlier. She's more of the uh, medical, medical person here. Yeah, she knows a decent amount. can either meet us, meet us outside in the yard or uh, I'll come check on you soon or somebody will come check on you soon. Alright, so I'll go now. I'll go. You change your clothes. Chill. Alright, sounds good.